Hi everybody, I'm Bob Hines. Uh, I authored this book, uh, Amazing Asheville. I mean, when you grow up in a community where your local traffic light looks like it came out of a Buck Rogers movie, when you learn about a dog that voted Republican or a rooster that paid for his own meals, you realize that, uh, yeah, it's a little quirky, a little weird. The idea of writing this book gave me a chance to, to really talk about not just Asheville, to shine some light on small towns in general. It's an amazing incubator, something worthy of, of understanding. Uh, I generally had two rules. One is it had to be entertaining and it had to be true. The ghost of the headless deaf woman, the local conductor would see sometimes in the early morning in the midst of the fog before the train would roll in hovering over the tracks. It wasn't until just a few months before I completed the book I found this story, a true story about the train stopped in Asheville and let deaf woman off um, and unfortunately as she was walking along the tracks towards the station she didn't realize that the train was backing up and the conductor was screaming at her and she didn't hear him. The train ran over and decapitated her. Pretty, uh, that's pretty ghoulish. That's creepy. Uh, thanks to Ohio Small Town Museum, I'm building uh, displays that illustrate some of the stories in this book. A rooster that paid for his own meal, and the dog that voted Republican, uh, the alien that visited a man's trailer court, all these and more are uh, part of Ohio Small Town Museum and are in the book.